So we're going to be sitting for around about 10 minutes. So I will invite you to sit up. I'm sitting on a, on a bolster here, and it's really helpful because it elevates your hips. And what I'll also suggest, even if you've got quite flexible hips, is that you place a block or some cushions underneath your knees. And the reason for that is that if you have your knees and your ankles at the same elevation, very often the ankles will, um, will twist and your feet will fall asleep, which is not so much fun. So the breath practice that we'll do first is the alternate nostril breath. And what it does is it sort of harmonizes the two sides of the brain, the two sides of the body energetically and in terms of circulation. And it's incredibly calming and centering for the mind. So that's the first place we'll go. There are two ways that you can do it. The first way is with using the fingers at the nose to streamline the breath moving up the left and down the right, up the right and down the left. The second way that I'll offer it to you, don't worry about this just yet, I just want you to see it, is that you're, you can lie down on your back, especially if you've got tight hips and it's hard to sit up on a bolster. You can lie down on your back and have the same instructions, breathing in through the left, and when you do, you'll close your palm and breathe up through the left side into the left nostril, and then when you breathe out through the right, you're going to keep your hand on the floor and breathe out as though you're breathing down through your right arm, opening the right hand. When you breathe in through the right nostril, you close your right hand as though it's coming all the way up. And then when you exhale, it's as though energetically and with your mind, you're tracing a trajectory down your left arm. And when you breathe in, you close the palm again. So it's very simple, just takes a little bit of a rhythm. It's really worth learning. Okay, so we're gonna come to the more classic version, which we'll do seated. Middle finger and, and index finger come down and you're gonna create a little hook here finger pad and thumb pad, and rest it right where the bone and the fleshy bit of the nose meet. Left palm turns up. We'll go elbow in to the center of the chest just to relax the shoulder here. And in samavriti, what that means is that the breath is the same, inhale to exhale. So we'll go for a count of four. And as you inhale, you close the right nostril, breathe in through the left, Pause, switch, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Pause, switch, and exhale through the left. Pause, inhale through the left. Pause, switch, and exhale through the right. Pause, stay with the right. Inhaling, and then exhale through the other side. Pause, inhale through the left. Pause at the top, switch, exhale right. Inhale through the right. Switch the fingers and exhale through the left. Keep going like this. Let there be a gentle constriction in the back of your throat, ujjayi breath it's called. Just streamlines the breath through and into the lungs. evening out the inhalation to the exhalation. Three more rounds like this. When you next breathe out through the right nostril, release your hand. Come to an even breath through both nostrils. Okay. 
The next place that we're going to go is we're just gently open your eyes as though you're opening them into a soft focus. So you're not snapping the eyes open. Keep them calm. You'll take your right thumb and you're going to press it to a point right here on the side of the wrist. So the profile of the wrist here, there's a little notch where the hand meets the upper arm. And in that little indentation, there's an acupuncture point, acupressure point called spirit gate. And it's said that it releases what's called the emotional heart. So it doesn't necessarily have a physical function, but it does create a sense of release. It, it feels as though this part of your body softens a little bit. And in my experience, if there's something that's weighing on your mind and you're not quite sure what it is, it does enable you to let whatever it is move. Sometimes it's kind of like tectonic plates in the earth. You don't exactly know what's happening. So this will enable things to move through. We'll sit here for about 45 to 60 seconds. And if you're not sensitive to this sort of thing, practice it a little bit, see how it goes for you. And if you don't like to do these, then you can always skip them out and do more alternate nostril breathing. So right here, at the spirit gate point, you're gonna rest the elbow into the side of the body and press. I'm just cradling the forearm in my hand. Okay. So we're just gonna keep a very gentle breath here. Let your exhalation be longer than your inhalation. You can keep the eyes closed here if that's possible for you, or just let them be soft as you look to the floor. A few more seconds here, just holding. Letting the exhale be soft. And then gently release the pressure from your thumb. Release your hand. Take a breath. And we're going to come to the second side. So another 60 seconds here. Place the thumb right in this ridge point at the wrist. This is actually very good if you're at a computer a lot, just for your wrist. Elbows in. Soft, long exhale. About 10 more seconds. Okay. And then gently release the point on your wrist. So with your hands at the center of your heart, just bring this practice to a close. And I will recommend to you that if you find it useful to get things out before it's time to try to get to sleep, you can use a notebook or a journal and just write some stream of consciousness thoughts down. Anything that's plaguing you from your day, close it put it to the side, and you're ready for bed. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy your practice. Enjoy your life. Sleep well. Namaste.